Hey everyone, Animal Man here. Today we're doing kind of a funky thing. I'm gonna show you a, uh, a, a hermit home. This is a real place where a hermit just outside of Boston, that's right, you heard me, Boston, used to survive. And it's in the, inside the clover leaf of the entrance ramp to the highway. And he dragged all kinds of stuff in here. I mean, it's unbelievable. I've been here several times. Last time I was here, I, I had to brave the snow and the ice to get across the uh, entranceway to the highway, which is probably illegal too. But uh, we're gonna climb underneath this fence here. I'm gonna cross that. I'm gonna show you this very, very unique setup he has here. And uh, he's, he's long gone, the place is starting to fall apart, but there's a whole lot of his stuff still there. We'll see, we'll see what it looks like this year. All right, it's lunchtime, we gotta hustle. All right, we're here. Let's go check it out. So there's the highway right there. You can see, I mean, we're surrounded on all sides. So there's the entrance ramp. Right there, and up, there's some cars. See, here's a whole bunch of stuff this guy's dragged in here. And uh, I'm pretty sure these car hoods uh, were not here last time, so maybe this spot is still active. I don't know if it's the same guy who's back or it's somebody else, but his shelter looks like fell down in uh, last, last winter. There's what's left of the chimney. I'll show you that in a second. But let's look through this debris. Last time I was here, let me see if I can zoom out for you. This spot right here, last time I was here, this was a little wooden shack he had built to store extra stuff. And this guy had dragged in uh, bureaus, furniture, like all kinds of crazy stuff that he had in this shack. And uh, last winter, the winter of 2014, 2015, was a horrible winter for us in Massachusetts. And it kind of took all these structures down. So this is one of the dressers he had in here. Look at all these. Wow. I want to look through this stuff, see if we can find anything cool. It's all kinds of old stuff. Look at that. Wow. Look at this. Whoa. It's like an old oil lamp. That's kind of cool. Let's see. Ooh, whoops. Oh, look, it's still got the wick. It's rusty, but I mean, if it got cleaned up, it might work. It's something we may, may need to salvage. Now, check this out right here. This looks like the top for it. I guess would be this is the top. And yep, that would fit right on there. Those clamps will go around it and clamp, clamp it down on there. So that's an oil lamp. Whoa. I don't know if someone's been sorting through this stuff trying to uh, salvage or if it's just from the wind and the weather. Let's take a look, let's see. I keep finding yarn everywhere. Look at this. Some yarn. Some yarn. Oh, look at that. It's all yarn in there. It's a bag of yarn. It's like a bunch of the guys' firewood. It's all rotten. See up here, got more firewood. More firewood, more firewood. Wow. Wintergreen berry. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Ah, mittens. And there's these clotheslines all over the place. I don't know if that's what he used them for, but there's one here behind me now. There's, there's another one right here, stretched across right here. Another clothesline. I don't know. Says, tons of Vaseline. I don't know what he was doing alone by himself with that stuff. Jeez. Tons of different electrical tapes. Ugh. 
So this area right here, there's the fireplace, and right here facing us is the interior. And this was all indoors last time I was here. And it's been a couple years, but I'm guessing the storm last winter just took this all down. He had it built out of uh, miscellaneous wood he's found, um, both natural wood and, and lumber. But uh, it was all built with lumber and covered in these white tarps you see everywhere. It's white tarping material. And there were two levels to it. The first level was where his fire pit is there, and then it went down a few steps, and there was like his bed and dressers and stuff like that. So it was pretty cool. Last time I was here, I was actually inside his shelter. So, old, old, old gas can. Probably use that for starting fires. I don't know. Some hangers. Lots of hangers. Lots of hangers. Lots of buckets everywhere. Got a little fold-up ladder. Probably use that to work on his roof and stuff. And there's like busted glass and plastic jars everywhere. Metal cans too. And look at these. It's a jar. It's a glass jar. Oh, it's a jar. That's a piece of rusty tin can. <laughs> look at this. Our hermit, turns out, had a taste for rocks, butterscotch, hard candies. How funny is that? I mean, these things are skanky now. Look at that. They go, uh, they're liquefied from sitting out here. But isn't that funny? Let's see what we got here. Got some gardening tools. All right. Gardening tools. This is cool. I don't know what this used to be. It's got a, it's got a little wick in it. It's got a little wick hanging down there. The top's all rusted, but I don't know if that would have been for perfume or cologne or if that was a little oil lamp. I have no idea, but that's that's kind of cool. It's really pretty. I like that. Here we've got some foam. This was part of his mattress. This was uh, in there on a little box spring last time I was here. <clears throat> so somebody definitely moved this. And uh, there was carpeting. the carpet on the, on the floor, too. And this was part of the roof here. See, so he had some metal and uh, got a few hangers still dangling in there. This was part of his bedroom. I remember standing in there and seeing the hangers and they had he had clothing and several belts still hanging when I was here last time. And this right here was his dresser. Let me get this out of the way. His dresser. This is one of the dresser drawers all rotted. It's amazing how quickly these things rot out here when they're out in the open. Because like when I was here, I was sliding these drawers in and out and seeing what was in there. Um, this was one of his beams across his bedroom for the roof. You can see he had all kinds of things tied to it, tied together, holding other pieces of wood together. I mean, I guess at some point it, this thing kept on falling apart, falling apart. He was just trying to hold it together the best he could without having to start over. And right there is a, a, the light blue. There, that's an old, looks like an old countertop. And that would have had a draw on it too. You're expecting guests, you gotta have cookies, right? You gotta offer them cookies. It's like an old beer bottle. Yeah, yeah, look at that. St. Pauli girl. St. Pauli girl. Here's his bed. Here's the bed right here. And there's the uh, mattress. And this right here, ladies and gentlemen, is the coolest part. This is his fireplace. And this once stood inside his shelter. His shelter ceiling was right about the top of the screen there, right at the top of the, the arch of the fireplace. And he had a little area, a little sitting area here in front of it, and then you went down these rocks. There used to be a few steps here. And right here was the bedroom. The bed was right about there where those rocks are going, like, like this direction. That was his bed. Let's check out this fireplace. It's an old rake sitting there. <laughs> There's so much crazy stuff in here. That could possibly be the hermit's glasses. Check out this fire. This fireplace is amazing. I mean, I'd like to have this in my house. And to think that he 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 brought he carried all these bricks in here. Bag of cement in here, and he built this here. I mean, there's no other way around it. He built this here. 
it's just a it's mind boggling. And, it, and that's the highway. We're in the clover leaf of the highway. This is just it's freaking awesome. Some extra bricks. Some bricks there. And check it out. He's got like a flu in here. And that's where those all the terracotta came in. That's those little terracotta things we found before. That's for his flu. That's extra from when he built his flu, I'm guessing. Let's check out that fireplace. That's awesome. Can you believe somebody brought materials in here? He carried every single one of those stones in here, those bricks, carried the cement bags in here, built this here, and the highway's right there. It's crazy. So right here, this structure of sticks, they're all tied together, and this was one of the walls of his shack. And it's still tied to the tarp, and you can see that. It's still all tied together. It just like claps. Sweet and low sugar. Check it out, there's the extra quick reet. It's concrete for making his chimney, I'm guessing. That's what he would have used to build that sucker. This chick out, he's got like bags of half gallon jugs. I'm guessing just by the sheer volume of these that I'm willing to bet that this is probably how he brought in his drinking water from here. He probably went to one of the restaurants maybe uh, or a home nearby and probably went there at night no one was around and used a spigot and probably filled them all up and carried them out here. That's my guess. I mean, who, who really knows? The guy's got these uh, two 55-gallon drums and probably a 15 over there, maybe. And I bet this is for larger water storage. It's kind of cool. Let's see if they're even still... You know, the bungs still work. Check that out. <clears throat> it's a full allergy. There's a little bit of water in there, full allergy. But I mean, uh, this I bet is how he stored his water. It's kind of neat. Let's see what this is. Tea bags. Got some tea bags. That's cool. Pretty obvious this guy had some skills. I mean, just building this thing out here, bringing all the bricks in, the cement in, I mean, that's pretty amazing. But the rest of the, of the structure, I mean, he was a modern guy and he was doing the best he could to have a spot out here where nobody could bother him. I think that's why he chose this spot because being out in the open, surrounded by the highway, it's so hard to get to. Um, you know, it's like being secluded out in the open at the same time. It's, it's amazing. But the rest of his stuff here, you can see all the trash, it fell apart, he kept on trying to tie it together, it kept on falling apart. He did not have primitive skills, and as far as I'm concerned, he didn't really have very good survival skills. Everything out here almost, he, he collected from other places along the highway and neighborhoods and probably dumpsters around here. So, um, not a survivalist, that's for sure. Our hobbit had a taste for Brock's butterscotch candies. Our hobbit. I just said our hobbit. I didn't mean hobbit. I meant hermit. Are they very different? Are they that different? 